Welcome everybody to Management 243, Introduction to Human Resource Management. My name is Bill Corcoran and I will be your instructor for this next 15 weeks of this course, which for many, most, heck, even all of you, the best 15 weeks of your entire life. I know we're a bit stretched for time in this course. Uh, with the holiday Mondays, we've actually got two less weeks than uh, most people will have to do this course. So I wanna really hit the ground running on the first uh, day, which is uh, Monday, January the 9th. So I thought I'd spend a little bit of time uh, giving a little introductory video to uh, get you started for the course. So I'll start with a little bit about me personally. Um, what do I like? Well, I like puppies, long walks on the beach, a glass of white wine by the fire. In fact, I like none of that stuff. What uh, I really like is hockey. My favorite uh, hockey team is the Calgary Flames. I really detest the Leafs. And if you're an Oilers fan, don't even bother. All right. So now that we've got the hockey part out of the equation here, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I have three degrees, uh, one from Athabasca University, a bachelor's degree from the University of Calgary in marketing and a master's degree in human resource management from the University of British Columbia back in 1987. So what have I been doing since 1987? Well, I worked at AGT, which is now TELUS for a while in human resources when I first got out of university. And after that, I spent 28 and a half years at Grand Prairie Regional College teaching college and being the chairperson. And one of the courses I taught most was, you guessed it, human resource management, probably 30 or 40 times. It was the first course I ever taught, and it's probably be the last course I'll ever teach. So I'm really, really familiar with the uh, content of the course. Uh, personally, I've been married to Marlene for the past 33 years. We have two adult children, one who lives in Calgary and one who lives in London, England. Um uh, I have a passion for running and fitness. In fact, I am the cross-country running coach for Medicine Hat College. So I bet you didn't know we had a cross-country running team here at college. So I'm going to spend a couple minutes right now going over some of the uh, key features of the Blackboard site for this course. Um, you'll note that this Blackboard site is fairly detailed. I use it quite a bit. So... Uh, and it may or may not look like some of the other ones that you've taken in your other courses. But uh, anyway, I'll, I want to highlight the important features that are at least important to me. OK, so the first thing you'll see when you get to the course is the announcements. And I'll pretty good about making announcements. I usually do a couple a week, uh, including uh, one sort of uh, summary one every week like uh just this is what's coming up this week kind of one which you also get in your email so that's sort of the first thing uh, you'll note here so if you'll note right now we've got one uh you, things you do before your first class on monday june the 9th all right so kind of read through that and uh do those things and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later on on what i want you to do before the first class all right so that's the announcements part uh the two other really important parts of the course are the detailed course schedule. So if you click on that, boom, here you go. So this schedule is really clear. It's nice and color coded. So it tells you exactly what chapter and what week we're covering. And then if we have an assignment of some sort, okay, so you'll note that in week two, there's an in-class assignment, right? Uh, assignment one is due on February the first, okay, uh, you'll note the midterm is on the sixth and then the final exam is to be determined, okay, so in the exam period as well, right? So you should never have to ask me, what are we doing this week? Or what did I miss this week? Because the class schedule is really clear. I tend to be the type of uh, instructor who really uh, covers the, the, uh, it stays pretty close to what the, the schedule is. So uh, note those. So that's kind of the first important thing. The other important thing in there is the course learning materials. 
Okay, so in the course learning materials, it'll start here. There's some tips on success in the course, four killer tips. Take a look at that at some point. Uh, here's the course schedule again. There's a link to the assignments and tests. Okay, so a little bit of the information about your midterm, your final, and your assignment instructions are there. And then each week, okay, each chapter has a, a little micro site, I guess you'd say. So if you take a look at the first one, chapter one, tells you what you have to do for chapter one. Okay, so for chapter one, then tells you to scan the PowerPoint slides, read the textbook, uh, attend the class, review the learning materials, um, Look at the course video. I'll show you that a little bit later if you need to uh, that. And yeah, et cetera. so these are exactly the things that you need to do to cover the material in chapter one. Okay, so the first thing is a PowerPoint presentation. All right, and you'll note with my PowerPoint presentation, I just don't give you the canned ones they get out of the uh, textbook okay i've uh do quite a bit of work on the material on the uh, powerpoint presentations to customize them right so you note that there's highlighted stuff and extra slides and things like that so if you see stuff that's highlighted that's the more important things right uh you'll note that each chapter will be divided into learning objectives usually there's about anywhere from oh, four to seven learning objectives. And this is the stuff that I really want you to know, right? So yeah, so the learning objectives and slides. So the first thing I would do in every chapter is just glance through all the slides at least once. It'll give you an idea, basically, what you need to know. Okay, so that's the slides. Uh, second thing you'll see, we'll ask you to do the textbook reading. So the textbook is, uh, Sina No 2019 Human Resource Management. It's been the same text for the last three or four years. So there'll be, there should be a lot of them around, right? You can get that in the bookstore. Um, and I think there's e copies available as well. The other thing you have is a lecture video. Now, these lecture videos were from the last time I did this course, which was during the COVID time. So instead of having class, basically, we did a whole bunch of recorded lectures. All right. So if you come to class, you probably won't need to watch the recorded lectures. If you miss class, definitely watch the recorded lectures. Or if there's something that you're unsure of and you want another explanation, maybe go back and look at the recorded uh, lectures, right? So, for example, for chapter one, there's two videos. I think they're about an hour or so each, 40 minutes where employees aren't allowed to use Facebook while they're at work. So there you go. You just get uh, Bill recorded rather than uh, Bill live on Mondays, right? So if you miss things in particular, the recorded videos are, uh, are, good, are good, good things to have, a nice resource, right? Or, or for review as well, right? Uh, there's usually additional learning materials. So here there's something on uh, what's called the Canadian Professional Human Resources designation here. Take a look at those. We'll probably go over a lot of those in class. Note, you won't have a number five on any of these things because when I set up this course, again, I set it up for COVID times when we weren't meeting in class. And so there's a Blackboard classroom, which was the number five. So don't worry about the fact you don't have a number five. It's, it's hidden, okay? It used to be the Blackboard classroom, but we now have a live in-person classroom. Uh, last part for each chapter then is key terms and sample exam questions. Very, 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 I'm going to say it one more time, very important stuff. All right, this is the really key stuff I want you to know. So when you're studying, what do I need to know for chapter one? Okay, I need to know what these key terms mean. I need to be able to answer these sample exam questions. If you're able to do that, you focus on these key terms and sample exam questions, you're going to do very, 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 very well on your midterm and your final, right? So really nice feature of the course. Make sure you're focusing on those. 
And then if there's anything due in this week, uh, that'd be the last one. So there's no assignment due at the end of chapter one. Okay, so nothing due this particular week. All right, so each chapter, each week has one of those bad boys assigned. Okay. So that is the content for the course, the course content. Uh, the other part we want to know, which is different, is there's a question form, right? So a lot of students like to send me emails. And guess what? They're always the same questions, right? If they don't ask in class. So what I did was I set up a question form here. So rather than emailing me, I'd really strongly prefer that you would ask the question in the form here, or even if you email and they say, uh, I'll say, great question. Now just post it on the form so everybody knows the answer, right? So to give an example here is, here's the question, is this course difficult? Okay, and a nice young student by the name of Bill Corcoran. I'm sure that guy's a keener. You know, that's an A student if I've ever seen one. Anyway, this Bill Corcoran dude asked a question, is this course, or how difficult, how tough is it to get an A plus in this course? How tough is it to get a passing grade? And Bill's instructor, who's also Bill, explains last time out, I taught this course, I had five A plus grades out of 127 registered. So yes, it's difficult to get an A plus, blah, blah, blah. All right, so again, if you're gonna ask a question rather than emailing Bill, uh, putting in the form would be much appreciated. It also gives everybody else in the Class, the uh, opportunity to, to benefit from the answer, right? Good stuff. Okay, final thing in the navigation you want to know is the course outline. All right, so course outline is down here. Click on that, and I want you to make sure you've read through the course outline before the first class. So make sure you go through the course outline, and if you've got any questions, we'll take that up on the first class, right? I think there's also a little bit of a survey I'm going to ask you to do in this next part. All right, so that is the major parts of the Blackboard site. And remember, um, course schedule is really important and course content is really important. And there's also a feature in there to ask a question and the course outline. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about academic integrity, otherwise known as cheating. The last time I taught this course, I assigned a grade of zero to five students on the final exam for cheating. All five students, including an honor student, denied it. All five appealed it right up to the uh, academic vice president, and all five ultimately ended up with an F in the course, and a note on their academic file about being caught cheating on a final exam. Believe me, it wasn't fun for anybody. It wasn't fun for me, it wasn't fun for them, it wasn't fun for the administrators involved all the way up to the academic vice president. Honesty is really important to me in, uh, in this course. So if I uncover cheating, I will call it out and I will assess penalties. So, so please, don't cheat, all right? Don't rely on a website like Homework Hero to help you with assignments. Don't purchase an essay from a place like wowessays.com. Don't scour YouTube or the internet looking for the secret answers to the uh, questions in this particular course. They're not there, okay? What I need you to do is I need you to do all your work. I need you to learn the material and most importantly, don't cheat, okay? Because you will be caught. I will call you out and you'll cause a whole bunch of work and grief for uh, yourself and others. Okay, in this last part of the video, I wanna spend a couple minutes just telling you what stuff I want you to cover for the first class, right? So if you started on the announcements page here, you would go into your course intro here, and you'd look down here and there's five introductory uh, activities. One is to read the course announcements, which I'm assuming most of you've already done. The second one is view the course video, which you're doing right now, which is awesome. Uh, the third one is to read the course outline, which I gave you a little bit of a heads up on how to do in the video. Again, you can see it's linked down here in the uh, navigation. 
Uh, number four is to complete an online survey. So it's just a small little quiz here on the course outline, which will take you probably five minutes to do. And the last one is to review the course schedule, which I suggested uh, which was up here, right? Just to show you where the uh, different uh, uh, days and topics and uh, assignments are due. Okay, so that's the first part then is to do the course intro uh, activities. The other thing I'd like you to do for the first class is to go into your course learning materials and do the first two parts of chapter one. All right, so again, we'll scroll down here. You find chapter one right here, field of HR. And it asks you to do five activities. I'd like you to do the first two activities before you get to the class. So that would involve number one is scan the PowerPoint slides, which are down here. And the second one is to read the textbook. So if you could get a hold of the textbook and read pages two to 28 uh, before the first class, that would be awesome. So to recap then, welcome to the course. Uh, I know we're going to have a lot of fun over the next 15 weeks, aka also known as the best 15 weeks of your entire life. I'm sure we'll have a little bit of fun. And I'll see all of you at 6 p.m. sharp on Monday, January the 9th in room F1009 or F1009. All right, so see you uh, on Monday. Done.